everybody. Just like to do a short demo to show you a couple of things with the app. We've had a request from Lynette who's having trouble getting stuff off her iPad, downloading it. So, and there's several ways to do it. One is Dropbox. Another way is direct connection to the machine and another way you could email designs to yourself. So there's more than one way to do the same thing. Now it's going to depend on whether you have, we have AccuDesign, we have AccuEdit, we have AccuMonitor. There's lots of AccuStitch. So I'm going to show you how you can do it with AccuDesign and then with AccuEdit. Okay, so AccuDesign is a purchased app. Those that bought their machine way back in the beginning when the 15,000 was released may have got AccuEdit as a bonus or as a giveaway or something like that. But for a lot of people, they've had to buy it separately. So it wasn't one of the freebies. It was an extra and it does come with lots of free designs and other designs you can buy within the app. So when AccuDesign opens, um, there's um, all sorts of categories that you can scroll through and look at. You can also save your own designs here. And some, um, like this one, it's um, some of the designs that come with it. So some is like has little shopping carts on it and they're ones you would go in to buy. So when you pick a category um, that you have, if I scoot along here, you'll see shopping carts, shopping carts, shopping carts, and then like um, a gift box. So that's a gift. So they're the freebies. So it doesn't really matter um, which one we pick. I'm going to just pick this guy again. And then you can scoot through and have a look and um, some of these are my designs, they're Redwork Snowman designs. This is actually a design that I've obviously put in this folder that came with the app. So if we select the design, it comes up on a bigger screen. And you can change um, all the different color sections are shown across the top and you can change all of those. So with this then you can send it. Now when you go to send on the arrow out top right, I can send it directly to my machine or I can save it as a different file format. So if you don't have a Genomi and you have this app, you can save, or you have two machines, you can save it in different stitch formats. So if I go back here and say connect, it's going to send it now directly to my machine. And there it is, it's come up on the screen. Okay. If I just get rid of that for a minute, go into edit and X out and okay. Close that. If I don't want or don't have a 15,000 but still have the app. You have a choice then where you can send it as a GIF or an EXP or a PES, save it in the format you want and then this comes up so you can choose one of these apps. Now here we've got different apps that connect. I do have AccuEdit here so I could open it in AccuEdit but you have mail and you have Dropbox. So you could save it to your Dropbox and then open it on your PC if that's what you wanted to do. Or you can email it to yourself. But however you send it, if you email it or you Dropbox it, it's zipped when you get it. So it zips the files that you then have to unzip. Now if you don't unzip them, you won't be able to open them. You'll see it on your machine, but you won't be able to open it. So you must unzip the file. Now I use Windows 10 and when it comes up I open through Windows Explorer. When you click on the, um, the file you get the option to extract and you extract it and save it in the same place that way you know where it is 
then you can open it and look at it on your computer. So that's how that app works. Now also from AccuDesign or designs you have, if you have AccuDesign, if I go to send it again and let's go J, um, JPX and choose AccuEdit. So what happens now is automatically opens AccuEdit and here's the design on my screen and here's the toolbox. So if I just scoot it down. So from here now I could send direct to the machine as well just by targeting the machine, click on it and say send. And there you have it. Now if I really love it, if I take this off my screen now it's not saved so it won't save in this app on my iPad unless I ask it to save. So then when I save and go back down in the corner here to the designs and scoot down, give it a minute to catch up, the last design down here is those little bears that I've just saved. Okay. So now how do you get this from here to your computer? Well there's a couple of ways. As I said you, you can send it from here to your Dropbox, you can email it to yourself. One quick and easy way to do things is to save this to your machine. Now you can save it to your USB stick or you can save it to the built-in on your machine. Now I do have a USB stick plugged in but I'm going to save it to the built into the machine and I'm going to sa show you how I save all the things I've saved on the machine back to my computer. So we need to go to edit. Now I don't have my embroidery unit open, it will allow me to do this without the embroidery unit moving. So I'm going to go home and then edit. Once I'm in edit there's a folder for saving which is the putting in folder I call it. It's got the arrow going in whereas this has the arrow coming out. So I'm going to press the arrow going in folder. Now this gives me the option to save firstly to the sewing machine which is black so that means that's what's selected but I could save to a USB stick. It's automatically going to call the design M001 and it will save it as that. The next one will be M002 and so on and so on. Now if you don't have a folder here you can make a new folder to save it into saving it onto your machine. I've already made one so to make one you go down to the folder here and you give it a name. I've called it AccuDES, AccuDesigns. So I want those little critters to go into this folder. So I'm going to open that folder. Now it tells me I already have a design called M001 so it wants to call this M002. Now if I don't want to call it that, I've forgotten what they look like. Were they bunnies? I think they were bunnies. So maybe I'll go to the pencil and I'll just call it bunny. Bunny and say OK. So now it's telling me I'm going to save Bunny to the machine and I just say OK. Ah, they're not bunnies, they're bears. <laughs> there you go. So I don't need to sew it out right now, I just want to save it so I can X out and unsaved designs will be erased and that's OK. Alright, so with that done I'm just going to stop for a minute and connect the laptop and show you how the next part works. Okay now just before I turn the computer on and show you how to do that, you can also do this through iTunes. So when you plug your iPad into your computer into iTunes 
and you scroll down to file sharing you'll see all the apps that are sharing files so when you save it here you can open it then in iTunes so what happens is when you go to file sharing you'll see the AccuDesign app when you click on it it will show you all the files that are with that so you can select them all and then save them to a place on your computer now I suggest you make the folder first and then save them in that folder okay so we'll go and turn the computer on okay so I have connected my sewing machine to the computer via cable which you got with your machine when you purchased it I've opened horizon link and I'm going to open my embroidery link tool okay so when this comes up we want to go down to edit embroidery designs so this is how if you have a design on your computer you would open it nothing new in that now I know there's more than one design I might like to save from the machine so normally you would go to designs to open a design but we're going to go into file manager now when you go into file manager on the right hand side it says sewing machine it shows the built-in and USB 1 and 2 on this side is your computer and it says desktop computer and documents so you need to have made a folder on this side where we can transfer the designs so if I go to computer C drive somewhere here okay I can't find it let's make a new folder okay so I'm going to right click in the white space and make a folder now this is on my C drive okay I'm going to right click and give it a name and I'm going to do um, hashtag so it goes to the top of the list um, memory craft 15 K okay once that's done I'm going to double click to open it now there's nothing there up the top here it tells me memory craft 15 K so that's where the designs are going to go over here now on the machine side I need to go to the built-in designs now it's reading from the sewing machine and there's a folder called Accu Designs. I'm going to open that and it shows me there a bunny file and the other file which was M001 so if I right click in the white space and check all there's little red ticks come up in here to show me they're selected this arrow in the center then lights up and I simply scoot them over to this side and now I have they're not bunnies by the way they're bears but I have them over here in this folder and I also still have them on my machine so you don't have to you know make it more complicated than it is I guess you're not going to lose the designs on your machine by sending them across to your laptop they're still there if you don't want them anymore you can also delete them so you can delete them on either side so if I right click in the box here and check these two again I get the rubbish bin that shows up so I could put them in the rubbish now it will ask me if I'm sure and it says are you sure do you want to delete them I'm not going to so I'm going to say no that's how you could delete them just click in the white space and uncheck and they're not ticked the same over here if I right click in the box check the rubbish bin shows up and I could delete them so 
it's called file manager and that's the reason so that you can manage your files um, as easy as possible from your machine to here now it's the same for the USB if you have a USB in there with designs that you want to get back to your computer you will do exactly the same thing so I hope that really helps I hope that's cleared up any misunderstanding so yes you can use Dropbox yes you can email yourself or yes you can direct connect to the 15,000 but you have to have saved them on there first or to your USB stick good luck with that bye for now